Recording. It's recording. The it's recording it. Yeah, wreck. Uh sorry, yeah. Wreck. Oh, sorry, yeah. Training game. Uh yeah, I've got a pie. Uh yeah, I'm gonna drink out of a metal cup. No horn. So it'll be quite similar to um the game where he's got Buckingham Shabur band. <laughs> a training game. I think it's a good exercise because you do, you let a week go by and you're not, you don't feel yourself, do you? I think it's important to keep it, keep those muscles um, flexing. I think Horn's going to be in there uh, to use the uh, Scottish, the Scottish vernacular. He's going to be in a wee bit of trouble next week. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm home next week and we've had a training game and he's not, I am, to use the uh, Scottish vernacular, a wee bit concerned. <laughs> yeah, I think if I'm horn next week, to use the Scottish vernacular, he might not have quite such a barry game. Yeah, again, if I'm horn to use the, again, the Scottish vernacular, I've lost the game. I want to fuck that guy up. To We're not telling this guy. Sorry, to use the Scottish <laughs> I want to fuck with the wee guy's heed. <laughs> <clears throat> to use the Scottish vernacular, we're not telling him we're doing this. Yes, I don't know what the Scottish vernacular is, but shh. But I'm sure they've got something. What though? Next time we play with Horn. Ah, oh, sorry. My just, to, just to be happy. What's all this about fly swat? <laughs> I thought no one was getting a fly swat right, so I've got my eye. <laughs> I'm drinking out of a metal cup. What are you drinking out of it? To use the um, Scottish vernacular, I'm having what you might call a several drams of uh, something called pressure drop. Yeah. But They're if not... a pressure drop do tune in, to use the Scottish vernacular, I wouldn't even mind a case of these. <laughs> <laughs> to use the Scottish vernacular, I'd like some free uh, ones of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to use the Scottish vernacular, how's about some uh, freebies, fellas? <laughs> so what you like about the old Scots, they've got a cracking wee sense of humour. Oh, the Scots love a laugh. We forged our careers north of the border. Don't don't worry about that. We owe a lot to those guys above the line, and by the line, I mean Hadrian's Wall. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting quite close to... Uh, Starting the game. Bit. Yeah, I'm taking, I'm getting quite close. I usually take my cue. Uh, <clears throat> key to start. Ah, now you see. Now you see. I think I might just go quite um quite old school and do one that we I don't think we've had before. Sam Stosa. Hornaby all over the place. Uh, who's that? Who's that? I've only heard of six people. I have to do things like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Stosa. Simple as that. No more. SS. Right. D D. No, no more. Oh no, I don't want to do that actually. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where our training goes. This is this is training. <laughs> no more people um, who you can find a photo. Yeah, of in them. Nine seconds um, with them wearing a white skirt and. A hat. <laughs> then another? <laughs> Hingis. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I might inadvertently have just said no more tennis players, but still, you know, if you're sat there and you're sort of clumsily, you know, fannying about and you say Jennifer Saunders, I might say, I'll have a look, dear boy. Hat can be any colour. Right. <laughs> a white skirt, the hat. And this is why you play training games. All right. Pele, no more people who, uh, in their whole name, fantastic. They've only got one vowel, so isn't it, like as in in his case, he's got two e's, but it's always an e. So they've got to have minimum of two vowels, or to use the Scottish vernacular, you are uh, a little bit buggered. You are indeed, yeah. I want to see two plus vowels across the whole name. Want to go to the sun? Would you believe it? Want to go to the sun? 
Now, I don't know whether the chaps from Lost and Grounded uh, are, uh, are viewers of... Um... <laughs> but if they are... Well, just drop one, you know, drop round a pallet. I don't know. You know, uh, I'll show it on, you know, they, they know themselves. I can see how I, how I, uh, how I hold myself. I'll, sh I'll hold the things up. I don't care. Penelope Pitstop. Ah, uh -huh. no more people who you can find an image, not a photograph, an image, an image of them. Trust. Now that is T R U S S E D, the ancient word. <laughs> trust with tied with rope, you know. Trust it, up. It capacitated. I might go up here with the with the boy. I tell you what, moving forward, I don't mind I don't mind the idea of having to, to put it on a typewriter. If that means that Matt Hancock's got to buy himself a typewriter, then so much the better. I've heard what you had to say. And you've enjoyed it no end. Well, I would have thought. I wouldn't mind smoking a cigarette in one of these one day. <laughs> That'll be okay. The more, the more that it's like, it's already a bit like poker or chess. There's a certain element of, you know, self-discipline and strategy already, but a bit of... All right, let's see what happens if we broaden it out like this. Gordon Ramsay, no more people you can prove they've been to Scotland. I've never really had cause to do this uh, in this game, but I think it might be time to just take a little photo of you doing what you do best. <laughs> Playing no more jockeys. <laughs> <laughs> no one from Edinburgh. Okay, well, look. Some new people, some old people. Some glue people, some cold people. So, yeah. Got, okay. Some glue people, some bold people. <laughs> some blue people, some sold people. <laughs> we don't always put the uh, training games out. <laughs> But I'm having a little think here about some true people, some gold people. Some stew people, some mold people. Exactly. Finally, someone on my fucking page. At last. Now, there's another one. Elaine Page. There's another beauty. She's been to Scotland. She's got to been. I'm now worried about Noah having a skirt and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't in, uh, he wasn't in the trap, was he, Noah? In the early 2000s? I don't think he's been, I don't think he's n not even been nominated, let alone, I think he's been in the courtyard. <laughs> I love that place. The spiritual epicentre. Yeah. Best, my best format of an evening in Edinburgh. Do your show. Now, you, you, to use the Scottish vernacular, spill out into uh, yon courtyard and have, have, yin, uh, have yin drink. <laughs> yin scoop. <laughs> And then go yin somewhere else. <laughs> Do you know what? Probably on an ideal night, I'm pounding up Drummond and having one in the Brass Monkey. Yeah, that's Drummond, all right. And then probably outdoors, for maybe like, you know, the loft bar or or, the, or outside at the Gilded Balloon or something. Somewhere outside. Somewhere outside. It's warm. It's nice. And then it ends in the dome. And then the stagger across the meadows. Next thing you know... You're in your bed. You've had a lovely night. Same again tomorrow. Sorry, you're in your what? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Bed. <laughs> Not your scratcher. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're in your wee scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to go for, I think, amazing. We haven't had this chat. The Artful Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> Would you challenge that? And also... Since it's a training game, let's discuss that. You, you, you're fine with me. Horn Summoners guess all. Uh, oh, okay. If I want to ask you if, if you were to challenge, you know, you take it at face value. You either say oh, or don't. I love the culture of uh, will you challenge me? <laughs> it's <laughs> one of your things. It's just, uh, it's just a gentlemanly way of finding out if you if you might be in trouble. Well, when you think about it, no more people who you can you can make their their initials are a word. Simple as that. Yeah. Yes. The Artful Dodger, Tad. But any any word, any word. And that's two letter words included. It's not it's not acronyms or anything like that. But you know, something like 
Oh, name and do you want me to name another just to, for yeah, I can name... just because this is a training game? Um, now then, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna charge my glass and I'll just let you think of a... Oh, Ollie Watkins. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow! So, I, I, by the way, this is not bad. This looks like it's going through my um, straight through me, so I think. Let's okay. Let's sort of make this a little bit interesting. Chris and Robin, no more fictionales. I'm always much happier with fictionales if I've got pit stop in. I don't like the door bridge coming down before I've got pit stop in. I know that, and I did in the live game. I th I thought about do I bring the drawbridge down, but, but then you didn't. You didn't reach for pit stop. Do you, I'll be honest. I don't like the door bridge coming down at all. Really. No more people who. Here we go. Oh. I'll probably photograph this category as well, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. I think I'm going to go for someone from um, non fictionalis but who is also your friend of mine, dead. So I reckon it's probably a case of oh, but also yeah. There's a lot of there's some nice cast. <laughs> there are though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite quickly, the game becomes more difficult than it looks because of the categories. Tutankhamun. Oh, Tootsie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it feels like Tootsie's got a chance here. You probably come on this girl, but you, a hat as well. I don't know. The more that you sort of jokingly say. <laughs> I can't imagine him without a hat, first things first. And he and probably a... did have a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> what we would now call a skirt. I honestly can't imagine him in a white skirt, but the more I'm now thinking about him, the more the ven of him and Hingis is, re is rearing his head. A ven which you didn't necessarily think about that much until this. The thing is, I think he always wears a sort of, you know, sort of golden, sort of almost scorpion skin skirt. He's not a white skirt, man. He's not he's not H and M, is he, too, Tootsie? No more people who you can find a description of something they were buried with. So no more people where it's recorded that they're buried with something. Mm, that is interesting. Um No, well, I'm not gagging for a name another, I must say. <laughs> well, I I I'd take a name another, obviously. No another. No. Ramesses. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be another Egyptian. <laughs> now, this is interesting. I mean... Ah, a challenge, eh? No, no challenge. Just a, a case of, well, where do we go from here? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is one of the... That's. But you've just described my internal monologue, both in terms of the lockdown and in terms of this game. Which of the um, current um, high-profile politicians would you enjoy playing... If we were put, getting another box and Horn is like unfortunately out of commission for a few weeks. I'm interested in Sturgeon. I wouldn't mind Sturgeon being in one of these. Sturgeon would be fantastic. Do you know who I would have? Ken Clark. I like that guy, but even that, having said that, I don't really like people who are that old. <laughs> I'm going to put some more. Um, well, I don't know actually. I might try and find no another brand to coax into my realm and pour it into my metal cup. Yeah, I think. Are you telling me that the CEO of BrewDog isn't watching No More Jockeys? I'd be very surprised if not. Very surprised. I'll give you the money myself. Vincent van Gogh. Vinny VG. Vinny VG. Old Vinny VG, I think he's fine. It'd be a TikToker, wouldn't it, if he was born now? Vincent van Gogh. Yeah, right. This is interesting. This is a training game, so let's try this out as a category. No more people that are more famous uh, now oh. than in their lifetimes. Was he not famous in his lifetime? He, he struggled to sell, and that's why he... Well, I don't know why he lopped his ear all off, but I, he was basically... It didn't go so good, and then after his death, all these paintings sell for loads of money, and he, you know? That's quite interesting. That bloke who sold the first tweet. God, can you imagine? It's got a word. It's like... Do you know it? Do you know, do you know the concept? Uh, what, of, of...? The chap who sent the first tweet... Right. ...sold the first tweet. He auctioned it off. 
but obviously it's just a piece of you know it's on a computer but he auctioned it off um by you know adding a you know unique code onto it and effectively doing the computerized version of signing it and someone bought it someone bought the sort of the intellectual computerized property of that tweet right yeah you say right but that's it's bananas you'd have to be elaine well it'd come back to it elaine page to do that it all comes back to elaine although what you can do i suppose is we're, we're almost ready for a leo we are yeah we're more than ready for a leo i reckon i might go global and dead and a nice healthy lure james dean oh do you know much about that guy not enough no not enough to be helpful 27 club you no know, i don't think so young though i mean the 27 club is those other ones isn't it kurt cobain and people like that isn't it hendrix musicians a lot of them aren't they joplin aye i don't know sometimes you just got to be quite instinctive and touch so i'm going to go for james Dean. Yeah. No more Americans. Okay. Well, I think if I, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of plowing the same furrow here with artists, but I think if I say uh, Pablo Picasso, then I can't immediately see a problema with it. No more people who oh i'll take a photo of the uh, castle oh, yeah. cameras are fantastic i'm not a great photographer myself but... very very clever very very clever all right pablo picasso well pablo picasso i think i don't know if this is fine or not but either you shall or you don't no more people who i can probably get uh can i get you in there oh hang on there wait Wave. Wave. Oh, wave. Sorry, I thought you said wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're in it. You're in it. <laughs> I know people who live to be older than 60. All right, I'm going to get it going. You've got to get it going. I'm going to challenge it. Challenge well, Let's have a look at Scotland. All right. So who does the work? I guess you do, do you? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll have a look. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's in my interest to find it. Okay. He, do you know when he died? When would you say? It's quite late, I think. Middle of the 20th century sometime? 1973. Fucking hell, I thought it was more like the 50s. Right, no. it's more likely that he did go to Scotland to be absolute veteran. <laughs> he certainly loves waddling around in Europe. I didn't think he lived quite that long. I, I'm not as happy with that now. Yeah, you don't want him to sort of be around when there's a sort of a Euro star and things. No, you don't want him to have been on Interrail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do something I should have done years ago. I'm going to write Picasso Scotland. That's what I'd do <laughs> in your situation. Did Picasso hmm, have dementia, have one ear, kill himself, go to ice, art school, die poor, invent cubism, marry Princess Margaret? <laughs> at the bottom it says it's interesting like there's something interesting there at the bottom it says to scotland yeah so yeah and maybe that's because i typed in scotland a minute yeah maybe or maybe it's just because we're talking about scotland and the old phonio is is um eavesdropping on us it's paintings are in scotland that's the problem yeah that's your problem picasso only visited britain twice ah but his influence on our art scene was seismic now why have they said britain if he's just been in london he, he stayed at Farley Farmhouse. Okay, I'm going to look for Farley Farmhouse. And if that's in, in England, we're all right. Farley Farmhouse. East Sussex. That is a long way from Scotland. And I am a long way from Scotland. And we go again. We go again when Challenge is gone. I want to go for someone who died young. I think I want to go for someone a little further back. I'll be honest, I'm in, well, I'm in Asia at the moment. Hang on a minute. If we knew way more Asians, it would be a different game. <laughs> I often think that. I really do think you're right. I feel like, well, actually, I'm going to get huge here. 
Kim Jong Il. Oh, it's not a massive problem with that guy. In yeah, some respect. yeah, <laughs> he's also not ideal in some respects. But I think I'm, I'm getting my KJ. I'm going to get, get my KJ on. <laughs> <clears throat> Kim Jong Il. I'm guessing he's like fifty, yeah, younger. Younger. Yeah, I think he's younger. Shit, that guy. No more under sixties is neater, isn't it? Either way, it starts to become tricky, doesn't it? And yeah, under sixties is my one, and then I definitely get him. All right, a challenge. This is good. Well, I this... don't think I'll have a go at seeing if he's been to Scotland. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but that's the thing with the North Koreans; they're always doing their diplomatic trips. Which one is it, Kim Jong Il or? I think I said Kim Jong Il, but I might have meant Kim Jong Un. You, you the... did, yeah. It's uh, it's this guy. It's, yeah, that's Kim Jong Un. Yeah. <laughs> now, so from the Daily Record, uh, North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un set to open a new restaurant in Scotland. So that's. Well, so he's, but... he's interested in selling some, to use the Scottish vernacular, scran. Uh, there's there's this talk of him, and this is six years ago, and that's it, and that's quite good actually. And so now we're down to people who are. <coughs> What was it? In the end, no more under 60s. No more under 60s alive and no more people who are who live to over 60 dead. Fucking hell. Head fuck. Mind mash. Well, this could be a lure, but I think... I take lures, believe me. I know you do, I know you do. You lure me, uh, you know... <laughs> Honestly, I'm the lure muncher. Well, listen, the thing is, I know if I'm playing this in a real game, but this is a training game, and let's see what you would do. Elvis Presley. No, can't have him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I can imagine getting a, him getting his pelvis going in Scotland, can't you? <laughs> Guy Fawkes. Might have overlooked one here. The trouble is, it's hard to remember the categories, but this is a training game. Well, no more people who, when you think about them, have been convicted of a crime. I'll take a challenge, eh? Challenge, Remember, this is your second challenge. There'll be a third as well. I'm challenging twice. Though. Ah, okay. So I, the game ends one way or the other here. Well, one of them is futile, because you'll argue against it. You know what? I'm going to do that one first. More famous now than when he was alive. Oh, and obviously completely anonymous for his whole entire lifetime. Did, was he famous for a week? I don't know how long his trial was, and and, and how much that was broadcast across the nation. No, nah, I you know I got to walk on that. He walked. Ah, he's walked. Because of course he's more. Of course he's more famous now because uh, the whole world knows about it. The whole yeah. yeah. Yeah! One of the great training games. Yeah, the guy's more famous now. It's in it's in like Flynn. And that is one of the great training games. Really good train really good training game. Really good. I was fortunate that I was able to do that quickly. Yeah, you had the exact right hair. <laughs> you had the hair ready. 